Hello and welcome back to the Who's He Podcast YouTube channel. This week I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Star Wars, The Bad Batch, titled Retrieval. And of course this episode continues from last week where The Bad Batch and Omega were left stranded on the Ipsium planet waiting for Sid to send a ship to rescue them. So at this point I'll usually begin with summarising the episode with a few screenshots, uh, but not this week as well. well. This episode doesn't warrant that amount of effort I'm afraid. Instead of diving deeper into the relationship between Sid and the clones and perhaps Sid using some of her shady connections to get the Marauder back from whoever stole it, what do we get? A space fagin called Mokko. Yep, again the Bad Batch avoids doing anything interesting and goes with a mine owner that has a bunch of kids mining Ipsium for him who also steals the occasional spaceship. Yes, the person who stole the Marauder in last week's episode was a kid. Yes, this kid named Benny, who has seemingly spent his whole life on this planet mining Ipsum for food, knows how to fly a military spacecraft. Also, as I said previously, all the kids working for Mokko get paid in food. Yes, as it transpires, these children have been ripped off by Mokko, who sat there stuffing his face all day long while he rationed the kids' food under pretense that profits were bad. So I'm expected to believe that a group of starving kids have the strength to perform mining work and also run around the desert stealing spacecraft? Well, you see where I'm going with this. I understand this show is predominantly aimed at a younger audience and, and them looking at emaciated kids on the telly is probably not what Disney's aiming for. But kids are switched on these days. They quickly see where things don't make sense and none of this plot makes sense. And it's boring. Come on, a space fagin. Does everyone remember Watto? And I don't know why, but the makers of this show continue to portray the remaining members of the Bad Batch as idiots. Wrecker becomes less and less intelligent with each passing episode. Tech is just there to spout exposition. Well, Hunter, well, is just there. Omega is the one who sets this episode in motion by suggesting they could track the Marauder by tracking Gonki, their onboard power droid, instead. But shouldn't Tech have been the one to have realised that? You see, the Bad Batch individual crew skills are only used as and when the writers see fit. Omega is becoming the star of the show this season is usually the catalyst to move the plot along. But it all seems to be at the expense of the, well, the other main characters. Perhaps with Crosshair abandoning the group last season and Echo leaving this season, it's meant to be another plot thread where the group drifts apart. Perhaps their place in the galaxy is coming to an end and they need to go their own separate ways on their own path. Well, if this is the case, why do we have to keep make the plot of the week so trite and derivative while they do it? Yes, as well as riffing on Oliver Twist this time, we also borrow heavily from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The parallels between this episode and Steven Spielberg are very much front and centre this week, even down to the climaxes on the Star Wars version of a rope bridge. But where was Sid? Is she still sending her ship to rescue the team? Will this play out for a third week? The relationship with Sid has got to come to a head at some point, and now seems to be the perfect time for that to happen. But I suspect the hunt and the gang will meekly follow her orders on another mission next week. And what of Crosshair? There has been no interaction between him and his former squad members whatsoever this season. He's beginning to doubt his place in the Empire, which I thought will set up a very interesting theme that just fallen by the wayside. And what of Commander Cody? Won't find out what happened to him after he broke ranks either. My problem is that all of the interesting plot strands have been moved aside in favour of the Sid missions, and I'm finding this very, very frustrating. I hate being negative about this show, as I generally love the premise. And when it's good, it's very good. But this season meandered about, lurching from the interesting plot threads, from the clones being phased out of the Empire, to boring generic stuff like this, missions for Sid. So with a few episodes to go, I'm beginning to wonder if they'll ever be able to wrap this up this season's plot threads and character arcs in a satisfying way. If the showrunners keep treading water as they have done, I really cannot see this happening. But next week also sees the start of The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. So will I be able to fit in two video podcasts a week with, you know, with this show and The Mandalorian running concurrently? We'll see, but the way things are going, this one may just fall to the wayside.